the brother has asked a question about uh, uh, he saw many uh, was he was in the rituals on the YouTube and uh, so he's probably asking about that there's a many was he was on the YouTube and you know when somebody has a problem and uh, they try to find the source uh, try to get a help from somewhere uh, where to get the help from so usually uh, as myself I have seen like many on a uh, YouTube uh, majority people from uh, from India Pakistan and uh, uh, majority uh, many there are many peers and Malana and uh, many people out there so let us understand something over here uh, are these people really have a knowledge to uh, post their videos on a YouTube to help other people and how many percent is that being uh, uh, authentic matching the, the Sunnah of the Prophet uh, as I have seen uh, myself on a YouTube more than I would say 90% approximately is my own opinion uh, more than a 90 or 95 percent are totally uh, fabricated and uh, it's all uh, wazifas and everything has to do with the shayatayin uh, this has nothing to do with the sunnah this has nothing to do with the quran and there's a lot of peers and their first intention is let me tell you something their first intention is uh, to target those people who are um, has a disappointment of their life, of their hard work, or they're trying to achieve something, they're unable to do that. So they try to find uh, the help from a YouTube, from a Google, they're trying to find a peer. And uh, so what happens, they try, they get in a hold of uh, with someone who doesn't have a knowledge of Quran, who doesn't have a knowledge of Sunnah. Basically, he has a knowledge of Shayateen. Majority of the wazifas and uh, majority of the amals given on the YouTube are more than 90-95% are forged, it's fabricated, it's bid'ah and uh, this has nothing to do with the Quran, this has nothing to do with the, uh, the Sunnah of the Prophet uh, There is no doubt Quran is a Shifa and uh, as much as we read and as much as we recite, uh, it purify our our soul and purify our heart. And when somebody comes to me, okay, um, and uh, I uh, let's say I receive like so many messages from an email about the same problem all the time, and uh, they are trying to verify if, if this is correct to do or not to correct to. For an example, they hear something on our Quran. So basically, when the shaitan is unable to target the people into something else they try to uh, make something from the quran and the sunnah and use the name of the quran and the sunnah uh, to uh, to target people and the main intention is to promote their youtube channel because because uh, naturally if they have a more um, subscribers and if they have a more views definitely they're going to pay an advertisement and they make a money out of that and the second target is what happens uh, I read like a lot of comments they're trying to get uh, contact information about the peer in the video and they, then they try to get involved with them and tell them their problem what happens and did this peer or this Molana or this kind of like a fake uh, peers what they do that they, they ask people okay uh, we have to do some uh, special way uh, to so you can achieve your goal so what happened that then they will ask them uh, okay you send transfer our money or wire that uh, from wherever you are and they're going to get the money and when they get the money they just write whatever they like they have in mind and they just give to the person okay do this one and you're going to uh you're going to achieve what you're looking for so basically this even so let's say for an example first of all this does not happen because everything happens only um by the will of allah but uh for in case if if there's someone they achieve their goal so what happens that allah takes away the iman from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the heart and uh, Allah put their faith onto something fake and Allah tells them okay you're going to just stick with them and you just follow them and you obey them because first of all uh, we know the Prophet ﷺ say who goes to 
the fortune teller and uh, who will tell you about the future who is going to resolve your problems their prayers are not accepted for uh, 40 days so we are already aware of that so people who does uh, who does go to these people they have to have their faith on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continue make their dua regardless how because you know they are but they have to continue make the dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh yeah Allah please forgive us this is the problem I have just make a continue with dua that and whatever is being uh, destined um, uh, for them they have to accept it do not go against your uh, what is Allah has uh, written in their destiny so we have to accept that so the question was like so the question was being asked about from the brother if it is allowed to follow this religion if this is not allowed at all to follow them this is bid'ah this is uh, all amal of shayateen this has nothing to do with the Quran this has nothing to do with the 